Hi, Xiao Ching here with a Chinese sweet food pro tip. I happen to be getting ready for a cooking class at Hot Stove Society, see that? Um, but for every class, I set up what we call a soy sauce tasting bar, and I just wanted to kind of show you what that looks like. So when you go to an Asian market, you see this a big aisle full of soy sauces and it's very overwhelming so I thought I would break it down for you a little bit um, basically the thing that you need to keep in mind is when you're when you're purchasing soy sauces look for on the label look on the label for what is naturally brewed or fermented if it and then if you look on the back label and it says that it's made with hydrolyzed soy protein and caramel coloring run away from it because that is like the difference between real maple syrup and fake maple syrup okay so look for naturally fermented or naturally brewed now what is soy sauce soy sauce is made with um, soybeans that are soaked and pressure cooked they are um, cultured with yeast and then fermented and brined and then they are pressed and bottled so there are a lot of different kinds as you can see um, the Kikoman here is a very familiar brand to everybody and you can see here that it is traditionally brewed all right and it is an all-purpose the thing that I, I have it here is for people to have some perspective this is a very common brand but it's actually Japanese soy sauce and for Chinese cooking I tend uh, tend not to use Chinese soy sauce you see Tom Douglas in the back because again we're at Hot Stove Society here this next one is a Chinese brand um, and you can see that it's handcrafted and brewed this one happens to be made in New York it, it uh, the original company is in Taiwan uh, but now they do make some in um, in New York and then another common brand is Pearl River Bridge and this this is a good thing to notice here it says light soy sauce now in the land of soy sauce light versus uh, regular or dark or um, light doesn't refer to the calorie count light refers to the body so it's it's thick versus a thinner soy sauce and the thick soy sauces tend to be used for braising okay but the light can be used as an all-purpose all right and then you have some aged varieties you have mushroom flavored and all of these are different kinds of Chinese soy sauces and then over here we have this uh, dipping sauce which has a little bit of sweetener in it so or sugar so it's a uh, lightly sweet um, good for dipping something. and finally I show this one as an outlier this is a, an aged Japanese style soy sauce that I would not cook with it's kind of akin to um, extra virgin olive oil and it's something that you would dip perhaps some fish in as well so I wouldn't necessarily cook with so the key to soy sauces is to remember that you want to buy naturally brewed and fermented soy sauce and if you read on the back of the label and you see anything that says hydrolyzed soy protein or caramel coloring then you want to avoid that so that is the general tip